Hey everybody, this is Pamela Coey and wishing you a very happy holiday. I just wanted to thank you for being a part of um, my artistic journey and joining me here on YouTube. So I have um, selected some winners, um, the contest for the art supplies, and thank you so much for your interest. And don't worry if you didn't win this time because there will be other contests coming, just uh, keep an eye out with that. Are you ready to hear who's won? Okay, here we go. So winning a set of the Gamblin Oil Colors paint. Um, I have Ellen Kerwan, and I'm not really sure if I'm pronouncing these names correctly, but I've got Ellen Kerwan, and she replied, um, it was the question about um, what is your greatest challenge in art, and her, her uh, reply was, my challenge is trusting the process. I want it to be pretty from the get-go. Watching you is teaching me to just allow myself to play. Okay, so congratulations, Ellen. And uh, number two, I selected, um, these are all chosen randomly, by the way, Celine Seltzer. And she has won a set of the Gamblin Oil Colors as well. And she wrote another great video, Pam. I love seeing your transitions from play to explore to clarify. We'll have to try contact paper. Masking, it's so direct. Does it leave a sticky residue when it's removed? If so, how do you deal with that? Thanks. Okay, and let's see. Um, the third person, um, Shiloh D. I hope I can find you. Uh, so one of the things with um, YouTube is that I have your names or sometimes you have maybe a business name or whatever. So I, um, I hope that I can reach all of you. I do need your addresses and for you to um, contact me if you are a winner. So um, you can contact me at info at artandsuccess.com and I will uh, hopefully get your mailing address so I can get these items out to you. Shiloh wrote, this is so timely. I struggle in the transition from explore to clarify stage. This is very helpful. I also love your idea of describing my work at any stage and writing it down to practice learning the language of art. Being mostly self-taught and working alone, it can be so difficult to talk about my work, especially in the ugly stages. I will put this to use immediately. These videos are so educational. I look forward to taking one of your courses online. Thanks again. Thank you, Shiloh, and thank you to um, all of you for uh, your comments. I, I really appreciate it. Okay, so we also have another winner, Deborah Mew, M-E-A-U-X. Sorry, my, I'm probably not pronouncing that correctly, but you have won a Mastermeister tool, and that's the bowl scraper, which can be used in both um, oil and cold wax medium as well as with acrylics. Um, I'm sure it works in other mediums as well. Um, and she wrote in her comment, uh, let's see, your heart is so into your talent. I can feel you all the way from Colorado. Your heart is so full of love for what you do and teach. Thank you millions, tons, billions. Does that say it all? As far as my favorite tools, may I say, I don't know what to call some of them. I pick up stuff wherever I go and I see it start laughing and think, hey, this will work. So I call them thingies, my goodies, and I even got this cool tool out of a box. So again, thank you, Deborah. That's awesome. And then we have another winner of another Messermeister tool, and that's Wendy Moreland. Um, she writes, I use my stencils and, of course, the famous bowl scraper. I am convinced that Gamblin Cold Wax has better finishing than the Dorland. Having used both, I recommend Gamblin Brand. I have found rolling stencils on Amazon under kids clay tools that are super unique and I hope to, to use them more. Wendy. Thanks, Wendy. Okay, and our lucky winner of both the paint set and the Messermeister tool is Jim Ferris, which is very exciting. It's nice to have you, Jim. And you wrote, I can't decide which is my biggest challenge, starting or ending. Though your videos and teach or through your videos and teachings, I found that if I have trouble starting well, just start making marks and see where it pulls me. But right now, I have about five pieces in my studio that are finished. But two of these were finished a month ago, 
and I added more layers, washes, scrapes, etc. So I guess when to stop. That's my biggest challenge. I just want to say that I, I do understand that uh, when I read a lot of what you wrote about what challenges you, that uh, to me it seems like these are universal things that we struggle with. It doesn't matter how long we've been painting. We can be new or intermediate or advanced. Uh, things can happen just at any time. And I think part of that is, you know, if even if you're advanced, you're hopefully pushing yourself to a, a new level. And so therefore, uh, we all have very similar challenges, but I just look forward to sharing with you in the new year what I discover. And I hope you'll also share with me by commenting below. It makes it more fun that way. So congratulations to all the winners. Uh, thank you for submitting. If you didn't, if you uh, didn't win, uh, again, there will be more opportunities for you to perhaps be a winner next time. But I think you're all winners. So thanks again for your comments. I really appreciate it. And wishing you all a very happy new year in 2019. So have a safe holiday. Bye for now.